how many of you all get irritated or frustrated when you feel someone is getting too close to your bubble? The expectancy violation theory was developed by Judy Bergoon in 1976. It is important to know what this theory is all about because we use it in our, in our everyday life without even knowing it. We invade and react to each other's personal space and that all began with the theory developed by Judy Bergman. With conducting research on this psychological and controversial topic, I myself have so much better explanation as to why people react the way they do of invading their privacy. But con uh, uh, the explanatory violation theory is the anal analyzing of people's limits to their own space and the reaction given to one's invasion of space. With sharing this research that I have accumulated, you will all have a better understanding of what expectancy violation theory is and how it affects us in our daily lives. Now that you have interest in the theory of expectancy violation, you will now know the formal and casual definition as well as specific information about it. Expectancy violation theory is a theory studied within relationships and interactions amongst two individuals. According to an article by Laura K. Guerrero from International Encyclopedia of Communication, the formal definition of expectancy violation theory is the explanation of how people respond to unexpected communication. When first discovered, the focus of this theory was the violations of personal space. However, in time, the theory extended to nonverbal behaviors amongst the relationship between two people. The behaviors among different types of relationships can range from personality to culture, cultural background to values. The behaviors of others can be expected or unexpected and with positive or negative connotation. Although this theory seems self-explanatory, it is easy to get puzzled as to why exact, what exactly this theory is about. Let's use a scenario to get a better idea of the definition of a consistency violation. Imagine you are at a park sitting on a bench next to your little sibling. You are occupied on your phone and your little sibling is constantly peeking over your shoulder to see who you are texting and what are you doing on your phone. This would instantly annoy anyone and a reaction might be that you get mad at your little sibling. So the idea of someone invading your personal space and having a reaction towards it is simply the definition of expectancy violation. Now that you are aware of what ex of the expectancy violation is and how haven't had an example of it, it is now time to learn what theories have found and how it has affected our lives. There are many real life examples that can provide a decent understanding of how the expectancy violation theory is used in every individual's life. One of the recent current events that fit perfectly into this theory is the controversial chaos between the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, Donald Sterling. Just recently, the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers has been accused of racism towards African Americans. What brought this about is that someone somehow got a hold of a tape recording of an argument between him and his girlfriend. The argument was about Sterling's girlfriend praising Magic Johnson. Sterling reportedly was saying racial comments towards Johnson and the race of African Americans. Magic Johnson, among others, was truly offended by Sterling's actions and has caused controversy throughout the country. Of course, Sterling is denying the accusation and Magic Johnson is currently trying to buy the Los Angeles Clippers from a racist man and vows to never go to a Clipper game as long as Sterling is the owner. This is the perfect example of expectancy violation. Donald Sterling was ignorantly commenting and invading American, African American dignity as a whole and stating racist remarks towards Magic Johnson and his race. The reaction of Magic Johnson is what researchers have studied in this theory. Of course he got offended, I mean who wouldn't be, and it resulted in him taking action into his own hands. Magic Johnson is trying to buy the Los Angeles Clippers from Donald Sterling. Another reaction Johnson has created towards this controversial current event is that he promises he would not attend a Clipper game if they will have a racist owner. Every one of us has participated in our victims of the expectancy violation theory multiple times in our lives. We are influenced by it from our own personal experience and actions towards other, others. For example, if we have ever used profanity towards someone in which they got offended, most likely cause them to react in a negative way. Our actions and their reactions is, is exactly what makes up the expectancy violation theory. Other theorists have conducted ex experiments and research of other physical behaviors between individuals. For example, the use of swearing is a perfect example of an expectancy violation. Most of us, if not all, swear of some sort and there have done studies of who and where is swearing appropriate. It is common sense to think that the use of profanity in the workplace is inappropriate and unprofessional. However, in some cases it can be 
be a positive gesture in terms of making an important po point and gaining the audience's attention. From a scholarly journal written by Janet Johnson in 2010, Rasen and Van der Hayden found that people responded differently to the notion of swearing expressions in general than they did to the use of words in specific. A lot of the times, those gestures and body languages can distinctly convey the meaning without the vocals of the swearing words. With more and more interest of the expectancy violation theory, theorists are forming connections of men and women on the first dates. From a magazine article by Mongo posted on June of 1996, males, males expect more sexual involvement on female-initiated first date. One of the many reasons that men go on dates with females is their physical attraction to them. Hence, they cannot control or avoid the idea of sexual anticipation without, of, of all of that physical attraction. The first date between a man and a woman is all about first impressions, and if the woman sees any signs of sexual expectation, they will automatically sense bad intentions from that man. These studies have been proven by other theories between the interactions among men and women on their first date. With the recent current event and having more knowledge of the research of this theory, all of you should have quite an excellent awareness towards the expectancy violation theory. Having first-hand experience of what the expectancy violation theory is about, we can now have a fully understanding as to why humans' privacy and reactions are important. From current events to our own experiences to theories' experiences, this theory is one that can be related to any individual with personal space. With that being said, remember how your actions and others' reactions affect every single individual alike.